And the next bowl up on Saturday's slate, again, we are doing a video for each bowl game this year. We have six bowl games on Saturday, so there's going to be six videos out ahead of this game. But the next bowl up, we have the R plus L Carriers New Orleans Bowl. Um, this is at the Caesar Superdome in New Orleans. And we have ULL, uh, the Raging Cajuns, Louisiana versus Jacksonville State. First year FBS team, or yeah, FBS team, Jacksonville State, led by no other than Rich Rodriguez. <laughs> But um, <laughs> Jacksonville State, believe it or not, is a two and a half point favorite in this game. Um, the over under sitting at 58 and a half, one of the highest over unders uh, of, of Saturday's bowl slate. Um, Jacksonville State is uh, eight and four. Uh, they had a chance to win their division, unfortunately, fell a little bit short. Um, ULL is six and six, so barely bowl eligible. I will kick off this one. Um, so I usually have a motto, and it is you can't bet against the Raging Cajuns. Unfortunately for me, I am going to bet against the Raging Cajuns. So I am taking Jacksonville State actually at the minus two and a half here. Basically because I think this was a monumental season for them. Again, it's their first year playing with the big boys, FBS. They were FCS prior. Um, so like Jackson State, um, who we did <laughs> um, get in, uh, we thought Jacksonville State was Jackson State at one point. Um, but they moved out to the big boy league and they've handled their own. So I think this is a huge game for them. Um, they fell just short of winning their league. I think, again, there's a lot of momentum building on for next year. So I'm just going to take them purely on momentum. Over-under is 58 and a half. It seems pretty high. Um, Louisiana has not the greatest defense. Jacksonville State really doesn't score that much. So kind of a high total for me. So I'll, I'll mess around with it. I'll take the over um, at 58 and a half. Uh, nothing I found on the opt-out list. I know you might talk about this. I found one, I believe um, – Louisiana's leading tackler Grant is out. He's their linebacker. But besides that, no opt outs really on either side. Um, so I think just Jacksonville State has more, not more things to play for in this game. So I'll take them on the spread. Who do you got here? Yeah, uh, I'll keep this one short because I don't have a great feeling on this game. I like everything you said about Jacksonville State, but I am going to go ULL. Uh, first, we'll talk about the opt outs. Same thing. I didn't see any for Jacksonville State. I think there's two um, for ULL, but that leading tackler is the main guy out here. Um, I mean, point blank, Jacksonville State, I'm seeing 91% money on Jacksonville State spread right now. I'm going to fade the public. ULL staying in Louisiana, um, like you said, in the Superdome here down in New Orleans, playing this game. I'll take the, the quote-unquote home team here, fading the public, um, and that's really all I got. Not going to touch the total, not going to give out a lean because I don't want to lead anyone astray in the a bet that I don't feel comfortable with. Um, yeah, likely passing this game altogether, uh, unless for some reason there's big reverse line movement coming in. But lean ULL mostly because of fading the public here. Yeah, this is one of a couple bowl games on Saturday that actually have a team playing in their home state. So that might be a, a decent advantage for Louisiana. I didn't really think about that too much, um, to be honest. But, um, you know, Jacksonville State, not too far away from New Orleans. But, um, yeah, that's all I got. Again, we the first two games, me and Ethan have not seen eye to eye. Usually we're pretty close on these. But um, maybe the next game uh, we'll see it. But uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Again, we'll have six today um, for the college football bowl games. But I look forward to seeing you guys next time.